So in this video, I want to tell you guys five things we learned from Manchester United against Galatasaray. Guys, please give me just five or maybe 10 minutes of your time because I also need your input. I know you are more intelligent and I know big up to you guys because our Facebook group, which we have over 100,000 followers, we did a poll there ask Man asking Manchester United fans if who is the problem, should Ten Hag be sacked? And we have basically over 65% say no. But we do have some of you who have concerns about Ten Hag, which we are not, uh, I mean, again. So in this video, I want to tell you guys what has brought this issue. How can we find a solution for it? Because, you know, if you're an adult, if you're not a child just wasting time on the internet, you will bring something into the table. So let me go number one. Number one, the biggest problem United have now is confidence. The problem now, we have lost, you cannot take it away. You know, you lost your parents, sorry, you lost your girlfriend, sorry. But you have to move forward. So how do we move forward? Do we need to sacrifice Ten Hag and everything changes for the good? I don't think that's the issue because we have done that with Moreno, with Van Gaal. That is not the issue. We know that managers give instructions. Players have to take it. If players don't take it, Manchester, I mean, the manager takes the blame. So United have lost already six games, right? Six games. It's a lot. It's been a long time. We haven't had such a, a negative record. It's like in the last 30 years, we haven't had it. So the, one of the biggest problems we have, United, number one, is the mentality of the team. You know, I've just, I told my friend this morning that if this team played the 1999, we wouldn't have won the finals of the Champions League. The, the mentality is in there. That we don't have players who drive the team. Even Bruno, it seems as if this is the negativity you have. This is the weak point when you want to have a very homogenic team, a very, you know, democratic team where everybody's the same. Yeah, because I think fighters are Bruno Fernandes. I think this season Bruno has tried to be, has, I mean, Bruno has tried to be what he is not in the sense that he is not, I mean, you can see that interest is not there. I don't know what's going on United. You can see the body language from Rashford. Something has to be done with the confidence because even the goal, the error of our goalkeeper, right? Uh, Onana, it was just a confidence issue, you know? Sometimes he would jog the ball very well. But you see, it was just a confidence issue that had made Manchester United being in this position. You know, we have had situations like this. Remember the game against Atletico? Why am I saying that? The game against Atletico last season? Because some of you have been saying, even on our Facebook group, that, oh, you want the gear back to Manchester United. These are flip-flops. You know, when you talk about education, some think it's about, think it's about you going to school. You might not be well educated in football, so you just say everything. I mean, you're a daily trader, someone who just takes things every day. Oh, we win five, three games, ten hack in. We lose five, ten games, ten hack out. That's a very childish approach, very simple approach in football. The strategy for ten hack, I would have somehow jumped in this, into this ten hack issue if all the players, if we didn't have injuries on the left, if Amrabah was playing in the midfield, if that was the first team that Ten Hag worked, but we know that there are some issues there that makes a team that, um, uh, you know, makes these errors. So my number one I have learned from this game, that I learned from Balaka Sarai, is that level of trust. But we have another number two. Number two is players are playing out of position. You know, Amrabat is playing for the manager. Amrabat is playing like a third position. Like number three, which Amrabat, most of you said, we should sign Amrabat as a midfielder. And it does disturb the system. In the highest level, the least mistake is a goal. You've seen that. The least mistake, you lose a game. Goals come from the simple mistake. Rasmus Holland goal yesterday, second goal, was a simple mistake. He took it and scored. So all those small um, little issues to, uh, also affect uh, the results of a game. That's 100%. I mean, if you, I'm talking to mature people here, and I think you are. Guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you subscribing. So I think... Um, We've talked about um, the moral morals. We've talked also about um, that co concentration, which we can, which has affected the morals. But there is another thing also, is that players are not taking responsibilities. Players are not taking responsibility, and I don't understand why. This is a difficult one for me, guys. Tell me what you think. Why are players scared? I remember when Di Maria won the Champions League came to Manchester United, United, and he was even afraid to get a pass what the, back in the days of uh, uh, Luis Van Gaal. I have a feeling that these players need a little bit relax i don't think it's the problem of pressure you can see marcus rashford that confidence when i played football not in that level but when their confidence in there you cannot be productive so number two is we um we have a, a, a we have a very disorganized uh, team a very disorganized team a disorganized team why because it is very difficult when to 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 tell to this to to 
to identify what United want to do with the ball, to identify what is our way of playing. So we have a quite a very disorganized team that doesn't bring in um, that, that doesn't bring in the res that doesn't bring in the results that we de depended that we, we we expected because because whenever, for example, whenever a team like Abstom Villa goes on a counter attack or Bradford or Brent or Ben or or, or, or even Forest, they go on attack. You can see what they're trying to do. But United, yes, you can see Rashford yesterday played not the Rashford football. He was giving too much passes, which is not a criticism, by the way. But United doesn't really have a playing style. This is very difficult thing. Because, the, I mean, us as fans, we are not managers, but we see the game. So I think that is an issue. I said, I did a video here about my weak point, uh, about... Onana. I'm a Cameroonian. Onana is a Cameroonian. I know. I have friends back there who work, uh, who know this young man personally. He has his weakness. He is not the finished article. He is not a matured goalkeeper yet. He will make mistakes. The reason Onana was kicked out of the Cameroon national team during the World Cup is due to these passes. Right? So I think Onana needs to adapt to Manchester United. United cannot adapt to Onana if you're making sense. This is what people are not talking. My, um, Andres Onana needs to adapt to Manchester United. Manchester United does not need to adapt to him. When goalkeeper makes such a lot of mistakes, he's kicked out of the team. I'm not saying he should be kicked out. I, I think he can redeem himself. He is a good goalkeeper. But he should stop putting on in such a shocking position. Uh, we did not buy a goalkeeper there for pressing. Because if you watch, if you watch that game again, I've watched the highlights, not the full game again, and looked at the vital points on how we, we consider goals. Delo, Delo, if De, in Delo's position, if Aaron Basaka was there, he wouldn't be a goal. Uh, this, the goal which Onana uh, put... Um, Casimiro under pressure, that's not the pass that you have to give. Uh, you have to give to a midfielder, which you know we are in such a situation. Because the, because the players really know we are, we are not, the players really know this, that we are not in good confidence. The confidence is in there. I see no reason why. I see no reason why Onana should be putting us, putting player pressure in those, play, in those games. We need to, after we just scored a goal, we needed to control the game, try to dominate the game, not on a counter and attacking way, but trying to control the game by killing the tempo. But what we did, we accelerated and opened up our defense. And considering that we don't have a really tight defense now, that was the worst decision to make for uh, the Manchester United team. So the other point is that Manchester United, I think uh, we uh, need to let our best players play on the, their position. I think um, Bruno Fernandes has to be that 10. That is the game against Brentford. I don't care who plays. I prefer to bring in Ari Magwe back in the midfield, plays with Veron. And uh, uh, Delo goes to the left. Um, maybe uh, Lindelof can play like the right. And we play Amrabat in the midfield. Amrabat is a mobile player. We shouldn't destroy these players uh, because we want to satisfy the manager. The thing is that Amrabat came to this team as a midfielder and he has to be used as a, a, as a midfielder. United, one of the biggest problems United team now is that players are playing out of their position. If you look, if you've watched the game carefully, Rashford wants to play on the left. He gives good passes and actions on the right. We have Ganacho who, is, who plays well on the left. We have um, Mount, which I don't know where he plays, but Mount cannot play as a 10. We cannot play with two 10 because we have a slow holding midfielder, which is creative in the in uh, in the name of um, Casemiro. So uh, Ten Hag needs to take this on the, on the chin. Ten Hag doesn't need the sack. Even if he loses, I'm in a position where even if he loses five games, he doesn't need the sack. What he needs, he needs support. And some of you who think Ten Hag needs the sack, it's your prerogative. You can take it. But personally, I think you're not... Maybe you just started supporting United some couple of more years ago, because this is something we are, that we have gone through in the past ten decade. I mean, the, the past decade. So, but we do have some some good good news here because the good news is this guy. You know, the news good news is this guy Rasmus. I think Rasmus Holland didn't deserve this. Rasmus Holland is the good thing that we have learned. We know that we were doubting if he's going to adapt in the Premier League, but we think he can adapt in the Premier League. I know he has scored in the Champions League, but we know that Rasmus Holland, if we have, if we play on his trend, which is uh, 
between the lines and we have quick in our transitions, I think Rasmus Holland is going to be a very good player. As Paul School said he sees some vibes, he has seen some vibes of Van der Steroy. And if Paul School is saying that because he was a midfielder, he knew when he gave those passes to Van der Steroy. He understands that this player is a player that gives options for the midfielder. And uh, tell me what you think about what Paul School just said. He says he has seen some vibes of Van der Steroy, and that puts pressure also on the player. I was so sorry. This, if, if there was something I was sorry for yesterday, it was Rasmus Holland because you know you made a debut. You know you're playing for the biggest team in the world. Look, guys, you can be Arsenal. You can win the league every day. You can win the league in City, Manchester United as a club is a bigger club than all of these clubs. We talk with Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, honestly. So um, if I mean you can hate it, you can go, you can ride behind under 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 this video and whatever trash you want, but that's the fact. So uh, it's not, it's not, we don't, we didn't do it. It's the history of the team, the fan base, and uh, we can finance ourselves. We are just, we just have, we are just unlucky to have the wrong type of owners. So that is what I have seen with this team. I think Ten Hag can turn things around. Hopefully he will turn things around. I will come back tomorrow and give you guys my react, my um, preview, the game against Brentford, which we were, uh, Brighton, sorry, against Brighton. I keep saying Brentford, against Brighton, uh, against uh, Bradford, Bradford in the coming, uh, in the weekend. Ten Hag needs to put it straight. If Ten Hag puts Amrabat in three in that game without twisting and changing things, then we need to start, I will be start getting personally uh, disappointed with him. So tell me what you think, guys. Is Titanag big sacked? Because in this channel, I control things here. I think no. I think Ten Hag needs your support. So please do support him because if you support him with the, with the positivity that we have as Rasmus Holland, I think we can go to places. Anyway, guys, drop your comments below. Tell me what you think about this game. How do we improve Manchester United? Stop crying like, an, like a baby. Talk like a real fan. It's your turn to tell me how do we uh, improve the team. It was great speaking to you and yeah, talk to you soon, guys.